Hello friends, welcome to my program Canada's Punch. Today I am going to present you the Marathas being awarded two Victoria Crosses in the Second World War. Well, Sir Vincent Churchill was finally smiling as the Allies were on the offensive and winning the largest historical seaborne operations which involved landing of 1,76,000 troops on the Normandy beaches with guns and tanks was successful as Field Marshal Rommel's Atlanta defense line was crashing. Paris was finally liberated on 25 August 1944. This was not all. In the Italian campaign, the Americans and the General Patton and the Britishers and the Monte, they had made a headway in Sicily and thereafter that advanced towards Rome. Rome finally was liberated on 4 June 1944. Well, it was here in the Alpines, in the high mountains and uh, the strong defense line which Germans had laid called the Gustav or Gustav Winter Defenses along the line of Sangro River views. The Marathas gave the Germans a bloody fight and in a hand-to-hand -hand battle knocked out the German post. It was the first crushing defeat that the Germans received and the fame of the Maratha spread in the Italian campaign and in Europe. Well, this was the Winnie D. Winky moment of the Marathas. So, let us focus on the Italian campaign. Here, the glorious Marathas had taught the Germans the first lesson. Well, the third Maratha Light Infantry led the advance of 20 Brigade of the 10 Infantry Division along the axis Tiber Valley, Cita di Casello. The Germans got a hang of it and they decided to block it. So when the Marathas were near Mount Cuckoo, 
which had 0 0.501 and 0 0.506 ascribed, they attacked. Now remember, this was a mountainous area. It was a mountainous path on a ledge and on both sides were cliffs and a fall into the river. Now, Marathas were very familiar to such areas. They were masters in guerrilla warfare. Well, they took it in their stride. They ducked along the slopes and they got under hidden under the dugouts astride the road. And then in a surprise counterattack, send the Germans reeling back. And when their war cry, bold Shivaji Maharaj, King Shai, vibrated, the Germans shivered and they reeled back about two kilometers. The Maratha were in fine spirits. They had tasted the blood. Therefore, they were behind them now. The Germans had taken a position at point six to four. And uh, again had launched a spoiling attack on the Maratha defences, which they had temporarily occupied at 0.613. But on 10 July 1944, immediately in the morning, a surprise attack by Colonel by Major Madiman of C Company, 3rd Maratha Light Infantry on point 64, 6-4. The Marathas were not supported by any artillery and even their motors were not reaching. It was a broad daylight surprise attack and as the mist was lifting, they came very close to the enemy and the Germans opened up with machine guns. It was a deadly fire. In no time, Major Madhivan and five NCOs were killed. The rest of over 17 men were injured. Now here arrives the section commander was left alone, Naik Eshwan Kharge. Now, Naik Eshwan Kharge, without any hesitation, went straight for the MMG post. He first lobbed a grenade and put that machine gun out of action. And then, with a stormy gun, stormed and killed the German gunner. The after he had no time, so he rushed on the two Germans crew and clobbered them to death with his gun's butt. Now, this was broad daylight. The Germans were watching. The Marathas who were in the rain and some injured were also watching. In front of the whole fool and friends, this was a very gallant action. And then all of a sudden a bullet hit Nageshwan Kharge. It was fired by a German sniper. He fell to the ground and he died.
for the scaling action of his, he was granted the Victoria Cross posthumously. This was one of the greatest actions and first rebirth the Germans got in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. They knew what Marathas were and the fame of the Marathas spread far and wide. Well, 74 years later, the wife of Naik Eshwan Kharge, who is still living, 102 years old, was felicitated by Kalan Samai Singh. They say soldiers never die and Eshwan Gharge remains in the heart of the soldiery. Well, now it was a turn of 1st Maratha Light Infantry Jangi Paltan to show its prowess. Its sepoy, Namdev Zadar, won the second Victoria Cross for Maratha Light Infantry. It was a very big occasion. On 9th April 1945, just after eight months of winning the first Victoria Cross in the Italian campaign, First Maratha Jangni Paltan was set to create history. It was part of 21 Brigade attacking on the senior river defences. The senior river defences were very strong. Germans had built it up. It had high banks with machine gun post all over. The banks were having obstacles like wires and mines and the water was flowing cold and fast. It was going to be difficult to capture it. Now the entire Santerio Syria line was strongly held by the Germans. The Allied had their plans cleared out at about two o'clock or a hundred bombers flew low and uh, bombarded the uh, German defences for over half an hour. Thereafter, at about three o'clock, for four hours, artillery of over 200 guns landed their bombs on the defences. The Germans area was shattered, there was smoke all around, there was fire, but the Germans had planned the defences very well. They knew the Allies are going to throw up all that they have. They were under the shelters and as soon as the bombardment entered, they came out and manned their post. They were very vigilant now. 21 Brigade attacked with the Marathas on the right, the three Punjab in the center, and one Jaipur to the left. Just before the attack, covering fire was given by tanks and crocodiles. Now the whole action we are going to focus on Jangi Paltan, first Marathas. 
the A and B company of the Jungi Paltan attacked across the crossed in small rubber boats also and landed on the other side of the banks, high banks. The Japanese opened up with all that they had got, the machine guns, and a very heavy fire and bombardment came on the Marathas. It was Major Crawford who was injured and over 100 Jawans or Ganpats of A and D company were severely injured. It was the hand-to-hand -hand fight. And then the Y company followed under Major Van Ingu. Again, heavy fire they came under and uh, Angar was left and Angar was killed. Ingo with about a dozen people were injured. And the Marathas were pinned down. They emerged Naik, Namdev, Jadav. Sorry, emerged Sipoy, Namdev, Jadav. Of the Jangi Paltan. He was just a company runner. But he came forward at the call of his pattern. First thing he did was he carried two to three injured person across the river. And then at a pinpoint machine gun, he crawled up, lobbed the grenade and silenced the gun. Nando single-handedly attacked the post within reach and then climbed up to the top of the banks of the river Sano and shouted Bol Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj he tried it again echoed the boys who had got stuck got up and rushed within minutes a wave of Marathas were on top and a huge bridgehead was formed. The Marathas had won the day. Jandi Paltan had won the battle and Sipoy Namde Zadav was given the Victoria Gallantry Award. It was a big day. There was more action of the Marathas in the Italian campaign. The 5th Royal Maratha Machine Gunners and the 4th Maratha Battalion Anti-Tank were on the whole front. They are supporting the division, they are supporting the brigades and the battalions with their machine guns and motors and anti-tank guns. They created hell in the enemy. And uh, they were the ones who were at forefront to fight along the Gothic line and break the German back. They reached Florence and in Florence, the martyrs were not allowed to use the heavy weapons because Florence was a beautiful city, nice fell, and the entire Gothic line was overrun. The Maratha fame spread over the entire Italian and European sectors, it reached India and then in the Burma campaign, I must say and pay my tributes to the grand Maratha power, 
the battalions first jangi palthar third marathas for a while i've served in third marathas because the eight which i was commissioned was redesignated as third in 1971 war we fought under the third that's how there is that uh, style and pride of the third in me as the war came to the end the marathas were certainly one of the finest regiments who ever fought the second world war thank you jai hind